All right, Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites coming out here week in and week out. Hawaii Abashino Shai for another week to, to, to prophesy the downfall of this wicked ass kingdom. That's right. right. You know, and uh, this is the last year, the last three days. We're in December 28, 2019, the year of Karagma. That's right. You know, Hawaii Abashino Shai for another year to, 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 to do your work. Yeah, right. You know, right. we're going into. Uh, the real prophecies, the real the prophecies are really speaking loud and clear. Yep. You know, 2020, Lord willing, it's, it's, it's the last year that we're out here. You know, the kingdom is going to be ushered in. So we give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, and double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone where we learned this truth from. Peace and mercy to the hopeful elect that is pushing the word all, uh, all words and truth and sincerity. All right. You know, Dwari uh, Abashim for another beautiful day, you know. So, we, you know, get, get in, you know, we're just going to talk about, you know, the world, this world is made for many, but the world to come is made for few. Right. You know, let me get uh, Pro Proverbs 1 and, 1 and 20. And this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 20. It says, Wisdom cry without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. So the wisdom, where, 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 the, where the prophets of the Most High set up to speak his beautiful words, right? And to, and to, and, and to tell our people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're the true Israelites of the Holy Scriptures. You're not Negroes, you're not West Indies, you're not Haitians. You come from the, your respectable tribes on the right hand, the left hand side. You know, We're, this, this place is through. You know? So how long you guys gonna love? Go ahead. Verse 21. She crying in this cheap place of concourse. We're crying out. This is a cheap place of concourse. This is where people buy their buy their goods. Right. People are coming out every Saturday. Let's go down, let's talk about let's go, let's go spend ten dollars, twelve dollars for parking and walk around up and down the damn street. For what? This is what you're supposed to be doing. If you're if you're an able body. If you're Habashim El Shaf, you're so-called. If you're the, if you're an Israelite man, the Israelites is supposed to serve the Most High with all truth and sincerity, man. This is your whole duty of man right here, it's because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, go ahead. In the openings of the gates, we're, the openings of the gates. You know, we're telling, we're telling these Edomites that the, the elites of the society, the whole world, we're coming into, we're in your gate. Right? We're telling you your downfall. That's right. In the marketplace. This is mm -hmm. the water. You know? Go ahead. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? He's talking you talking about you so-called blacks, Latino American, you Israelites. How long will you love simplicity? How long will you love to celebrate Christmas every fucking year? Yep. Thanksgiving, thanks taking. Yep. Halloween, yep. right? Now you're gonna, now you next holiday is what? So-called Valentine's Day. So-called New Year's. So so-called New Year's. The, this ain't the New Year, right? The New Year's in springtime. You know, this winter is didn't winter is, is when all your plants die. Everything is dead in the winter because it's so cold. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. The spring brings it. Spring brings forth life. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know? Hey, because you have uh, Native America, they had a thing that uh, I made it through uh, the winter. With me, after the winter, it's the new year. Yeah. So that's how Gad would bait the year off by making it through the cold, harsh uh, winter month. That's right. Yeah. The water. Mm -hmm. You know? So, hey, how long will you love simplicity? Right. How long will you love waking up every day to go to slavery, go to work? for the so-called white man. You know, eating abominable foods, you know, uh, uh, breathing in chemtrails, you know, all the, all the, all the bullshit, man. Because the, hey, the so-called white man is coming down with great rap, man. That's right. Because he knows he has to put a short time because his, his kingdom is through. You look around you, man, people are, are tired. Mm -hmm. Walking up and down these streets, Walk up in any neighborhood. Yep. There's 60,000 homeless people in LA, in California, right? Now they have a new new thing, 
saying, oh, you still sleep in your car. <laughs> you know, they have, right. little, they have little parking lots where you go to work, and then after work you go to the parking lot, and you sleep in your car. This place is finished. Yeah. Right? That's right. So, so, you guys got anything? Yeah, I got a quick one, because you mentioned Israel's for the nation of Israel. This is Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel. The name of the Lord is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's right. Not so called God, Yah uh, Yehovah. No, not Jesus. The true power of Israel, the nation of Israel, is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And you've got to call upon those names. That's right. You have to call upon those names to be saved. Right? Give me uh, Proverbs 18 and 10, Public the show. That's a little more. That's a little more. It says, <clears throat> Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of the Most High among you by miracles and wonders and signs which the Most High did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourself also know. You know, this is how, how Yahweh Bashim is speaking through us to tell you people how glorified, how glorified he is, yep. how beautiful he is. He's merciful, he's he's loving. Yep. Yep. Right? He he he's about to take us out of he's about to take us out of captivity and bring him into and bring us to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Yeah. That's right. You know, aren't you tired of waking up? 50% to a yep. At 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning? Go ahead. If I may say, and this, that scripture is so significant because Yahweh Shai said, you know, if you can, if you don't believe on me, at least believe on the works that I did. Yeah, kind You of. know, which, which would give you more of an insight to believe on the power that came by our Lord and Savior. Now, the power is coming by this word, okay? Because this word has significant power unto it. Like we don't, we're not bearing up arms and you know going to gun ranges, but we're actually uh, presenting this word to these devils and they're getting afraid, man. We ain't even physically been in their face, but this word is so high power and touched them to their hearts that they, they don't know what the hell to do. They, they're, they're, they're shitting bullets right now, you know? They're sweating bullets right now, man. You see? But that's why the scriptures say um, in Hebrews 4 and 12 that this that this word, matter of fact, can I get that brother for you? Yeah, yeah the water. Can I get that for you? Um, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. It says, um, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing and asunder of soul and spirit. Does this word, the word of the Most High, is what he says is, is, is powerful. Yep. It's very powerful, and yep. these devils are getting cut. Yep. These devils are getting cut to the to, to the center of their soul. Yep. Right? They're getting mad. Yep. So how are they gonna? What? So when when a person gets mad, what do they do? They want to they want to hurt you. Right. They want to they want to kill you. Yep. You know? They want to they want to do things to you and your family. Right. Right? Slander you. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you know do horrible you know do horrible things to you? Yeah. You know? Sneak you know that's why the most high is uh, is our power, man. Yeah. He that's, right. that's why we're we're under his his wings, man. That's why we're under his his light. You know? Mm -hmm. yep. Things are things are really the most the most high is most high is a beautiful power, man. Yep, that's right. That's right. That's right. And going going back to the initial point of the word being powerful, you know, look at all the brothers that's around the world that you know never even met the apostles man but just because this word has been being preached and those names have been uttered throughout the four corners of the world look at all the souls and beautiful brothers that's waking up man right. you know what i'm saying that's true power right there you know something that you can't uh um uh scientifically explain because it's a divine uh, uh phenomenon right there man that's right. that's you know what i'm saying that's through the spirit and power of your by shimmy i was showing that brothers is waking up because remember satan um, has the the uh, slide the evening went by. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Satan got his hand over you know the rest of these individuals out here, man. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That the God of this world has blinded everybody that's out here. You know that's why it's, this word ain't so convenient for them. 
but for the for the brothers that woken up to this truth and that sincerely fighting to obtain this knowledge and hold on to it, man, that shows you how powerful that this word is. This is a this is a level of spiritual powers right here, man. And you gotta believe that, man. Right. Yeah, we live. Yeah. We, yeah. We have spiritual powers, man. We do have spiritual powers, man. You know, we believe we have spiritual powers because we have the word. We have we have is we have Yahweh Bashim El Shai backing us, man. You know. Go ahead. Uh, this is the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. Read that one more time, Brother Bashar. This is the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is a this word, this is a light thing. This is our reasonable service, right? This is our service to, to come out here and preach the word. Right. You know, this is a light thing that the word's supposed to, this is, this is our whole duty to come out here every week, you know? Every week, on you know, to preach the word of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, he says it's a light service, man, to wake up Israel, to wake up Israel. Not every nation, not everybody, right? To wake up the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. The the most highest Yahweh Bashim El Shai is for you. Yeah, that's right. You know, he's for you. He, ain't, you know. He's merciful. He's powerful. Hey, like, like, like um, you know, we back, man. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I tell you, Hosea 1 and 10, this was the place right here, America, where we was growing up not knowing that we were the children of the Most High, man. That's right. You know bro. what I'm saying? But now, we're able to say that we are the children of the Heavenly Father. We are the sons of the living power, you know? Yeah, and, 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 and this right here got these goddamn devils scared. Now they want to come up with all these different laws and... You know, anti-Semitism, you know, you yeah. us preaching the name Yahweh Shai is against anti-Semitism, man. <laughs> Esau with his craftiness, his, his damn nonsense, man. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter because this is this is all according to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And look how beautiful it is, man. That's right, Just to brother. be able to have your eyes enlightened unto this knowledge, man. To be able to say against our oppressors, the Edomites, man. That's you know right. what I'm saying? These devils right here, that they the goddamn devils, man. That's this is right. This is right here. The ones that's ruling, that that this word is consuming through the power and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right. That's right. That's right. Back in Isaiah 49 and 6, it reads, And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserve of Israel. <laughs> that's talking about, that's talking, wake up the nation of Israel and to preserve the elect. Yeah. Right? To preserve the elect from set perils, man, because set perils is about to happen, man. Yeah. Things are about to happen, man. That's right. That's right. You know, Lord willing, it happens. So-called New Year's, the first month, yeah. January first. That whole month, I hope the Most High just does His thing. We and we believe He is. Right. Huh? Like the new decade started. Yeah, yeah. Right. New deck, the water. Come on. You know. So hey, it's time. It's it's time to wake. It's a high time to wake out of sleep. Yep. Because our salvation is nearer than what we believe. Right. Right? right, salvation, our salvation, yeah. our salvation, out of hell, That's out right. of fucking captivity, man, out of out, of, out, 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 of, from under the hands of Esau, man. That's right. That's right. You know, because we we belong to the Most High, man. That's right. We belong to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. Not Esau, not nobody else, man. And you gotta put we and the water of Hashem is that we're put on we're putting on the elect, man. That's right. That's right. You know, we're putting on it. He said to put on the elect. You know, we're putting on the word, man. We we're, we're walking this word, man. That's right. We're doing the will. We're doing everything He called us to do, man. You know, you got anything? You know, so hey, it's, t it's a high time to wake out of sleep, man, because this devil's pissed off, man. Esau is fucking pissed off. He, ain't, he has nowhere to turn. Right. He has to come. That's right. He has to come full force, man. That's right. 
right? He has to come full force, then our then our power is gonna back us up. That's right. You know? Go ahead, Ark. So, Romans chapter 13, verse verse 11. And then knowing the time that is now, it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when, than when we believe. All right. Read that one more time, Brother Kishaw. All right. It says, this is Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. It's, right. it's, it's time to wake out of sleep. It's time to wake out of sleep because our self, Yahweh Shai is coming back. That's right. Yahweh Shai is on his way, man. That's right. He's on his way. You got anything else you got, huh? Shirach 5 and 7. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and that in, in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. It says, read that one more time, Bubba Gashaw. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Because you know, Jake, you know, you, you so called blacks, Latino Americans, Native Americans love to wait till the last fucking minute. Yep. You guys late to wait till the last minute. I'll just put off. You know, I'll just put off. The, I'll just put off on the Lord. The Lord. You know, you guys been talking. You've been talking that that baloney for years, right? Y'all been talking that shit for years, right? But you see the you see the you see the collapse of America. That's right. Right? When you when when the Most High before he comes back, he sends his prophet out to speak his words, man. Yeah, right. the, the words the words that we speak is not from ours. It's not from our voice. It's his voice. That's yeah, right. His voice is speaking. He, yep. he's, about, he's breaking his bitch down, man. Yep. Right. yep, the Lord said he gonna give you uh, passions according to his heart, you know? So when you look into that word heart, which goes into the Hebrew word lab, which means your mind, all right? right. So the Lord has given us knowledge from himself, you know, through our, through our Savior, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, man, all right? Because Yahweh Shah is that mediator, you know? Right now, we can't get to the Heavenly Father without Yahweh Shah, man. That's something that these other camps, they don't make mention of that, man, no, because they're not about Yahweh Shai, man. No, you know, right. they they always want to say the highest, but according to the scriptures, it's about Yahweh Shai, man. That's you know, right. the works that Yahweh Shai did, which allows us to be able to uh, have that mediator, okay, for us to be uh, uttered to the Most High, man. That's right, bro. That's right. Go ahead, bro. It says, um, the night, this is back in the 12th verse, it says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on the Lord Yahweh Shai, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust of the earth. So we have to put it, we're putting on, we, the men of the Lord are putting on the, on the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man, because we know what time it is, man. We know what time it is, man. The most I could come, he's coming back any day. Right. That's right. Any day. The scripture said, let us walk honestly. Yeah. Right? So when you when you when you come into this truth, it's a way you gotta walk. Yeah. You can't you can't come in this truth and, and be a demon. You can't be right. you can't you can't proclaim yourself to be a man of the Lord. You out there doing wickedness, you out there doing folly, you out, you out there doing uh, you out there being foolish. You have walk circumspect when you come into this truth. It's a certain way, it's a certain conduct that you got uh, um, a behavior that you have to uh, possess to have to, to be in this truth. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why that, that's why the, this thing deals with order. It's order when you come into this thing. That's why you got heads, you got second commands, third commands, so, so on and so forth, to keep that order, keep brothers walking orderly. Yep. And not being unruly, yep. you know what I'm saying? Because especially in the times that we in, you know, we in, we in some times where they try to demonize, you know, this word, demonize the men in this truth. So we got to push it down to the body that's walking wisdom, that's walking circumspect, you know? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Because you, you, you said order, right? Yep. You said order. Read that again. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. Because our apostles and elders of Great Millstone are the leaders of all Israel. They're leaders of Great Millstone. So they're they are the they are they are 
we're following their orders, man. Through the Spirit and Pod, they, the Most High gave them orders, so we believe that they're the that they're our leaders, right? They they have the order, so we're following that order. Yeah. Right. We're following everything they they ask asked us to do. Right. Right. To go on the highways and byways, in season, out of season, to put up videos during the week, to be you know to 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 what to have integrity. Right. Walk walk uh, upright. Yeah. Walk with the uh, walk with the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Right, right. You know, not walk and you know, not to be a a, a a weekend Israelite. Right. Mm -hmm. And be a nigga during the week. Right. right. You know. Right. They lead by example. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the things you don't see the apostles do, we don't do. Yeah. You know That's what I'm right. saying? We don't see like like our the, the heads of our camp. You know, we, we we if we don't see them doing certain things, we don't do. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why you. Once again, you have or you have older brothers that been around that's more seasoned. You know the bro brothers that's coming in, they able to watch the older brothers and learn. Okay, this is how that brother move. I'm gonna move like that. Yeah, that's you know right. what I'm saying? That's that's right. that's, that's, that's why there's order. That's you right. see, that's why you have certain men come in at certain time periods. You have a brother might come in, he might be in for five years, and you have another couple brothers come in, and those brothers are underneath those brothers. You know, they show them the ropes, and it goes on like a cycle. You know, to keep the you know to keep the truth from being blameless. That's right. I got it. I got it. I've uh, one time just being ze zealous, I actually stepped out of line in that fashion. You know, and the brothers had to tell me, "No, you just don't do it. You don't do anything. You don't see us do. That's it. Right. Because sometimes your zeal would have you do something, but you know it wasn't necessarily wrong. But it just nah, it wasn't really need for it though. Right. No. I got This is uh, Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom towards them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Right. You know, as more as time goes on, you grow in this truth. You learn how to say more with lesser words. You know how to refine your words better. You know what I'm saying? And when you when you go in, especially when you go into the scriptures, you know, as time goes by, you you learn to let the scriptures speak, man. Yep. Because the scriptures got more power. That the scriptures can say it better than we can say it. Yeah, that's right. Because anyway, um, when we come out here, we have Bibles. We not we not just holding it for decoration to, to show, you know, show it in our hand. You know, we we actually read it. Yeah. You know, and we have you know we expound on it. But you know, as time grows, you too, you become more seasoned with salt. You learn how to uh, you know use your words carefully. Yeah. Like in 300, when uh, the messenger came uh, to Leonidas, he told Leonidas choose your words carefully. They could be your last as king. Yeah. And Leonidas kind of had to think about what he's going. Even though he, he he said what he said, he had to think about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you, you know. That's how we out here. That's the scripture say, divide the word by truth. You know, dividing the word truth. Yep. Hey, hey, yo, I give one step back. One step back. There you go. Yeah, that's better. I got creeped up the back. Then, the rock 32 and 8. Let thy speech be short, comprehending much, and few words. Be at one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. Yeah. So you can know something. Don't mean it's the, the necessary the time to say it. You know, you might have you might have a good point, but it might not be the season for it to come out. You know, you got that's that's somebody that's being mindful of what they saying. You know, certain things you might want to say, then you think about it like, nah, this ain't the time. You know, it's not appropriate for it to come out right now. Yeah, but you, you know ain't got to share every thought. Yep. You ain't got to share every thought. Yep. Every thought that you think don't got to come out your mouth. Right. You know, especially when you're dealing like, say, for example, if you're dealing with older brothers, you know. It's best to just be a sponge. You know, that's the best way because you can be able to learn more instead of talking, so that way you can grow. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have two ears and one mouth. You know, the less talking you do, the more learning you can receive. The more information, the more information you can receive. Right. You know. So, it, it, but you, but you learn that though over time. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know. I, I started off that way, you know, trying to talking, thinking I'm, you know, knowing shit when I don't know nothing, you know, and then I'm looking stupid, you know, I'm looking stupid because I'm not watching, you know, I'm not being a, a child, as the scriptures say, be as a babe when you first come into this thing, man, you know, but, but that's it on that though. Yeah. I had a quick one. This is a song, 
101, verse 2. It says, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Behave, go ahead, man. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Speak, speak on it. And like I said, this is a, a, a King David at that. He said, I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. We behave ourselves wisely by uh, 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 conducting our lives uh, uh, pursuant to the spirit of the Most High and the Son, man. Yep. You know, and, uh, and as Brother's been speaking on, by taking heed to what our, what our elders and what our apostles are, are, are saying, you know. Not, not, at, not as copycats, but, you know, we're copying it in a righteous way. That's right. That's you know, because right. we have to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves because we're, we're sheep out here amongst the wolves, man. You know? Everybody out here is, is a wolf. Yeah. From from our people, man, all the way down to, to this Edomite. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. He said, oh, will, oh, when wilt thou come unto me? We're, we're expecting him to come visit us, man. And we, we know he's about to come. Right. We know Yahweh Shah is about to come. Yeah. Yeah. You know, King David said, I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. Yeah, what is that about talking about? You're talking about your your your, your inward part, man. Yep. Talking about your spirit, man. Not not your house at home. Talking about this house, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. right? That's right. Talking about because that's because we are we have to we have to put on the we have to put on we we believe you know we call upon the name we believe the name you know we're doing the will of the Most High, right? So we're out in the highways and byways every day, going to work, going you know whatever we got to do we got to be in the spirit as much as possible, man, to the best of our ability, man. Yeah. You know? 